attempting a new experiment. So I have one of my team members here. Don't worry, we're six feet apart. Uh, I've got my good friend Teresa here. She's helping me out with the camera and looking for your comments. We are at one of our listings for the Sarone Group here in kind of like it's in between Lone Mountain and Summerlin. So a lot of you guys reach out to me. You're always asking me what's the best place in Las Vegas to live. And the reality is there's a lot of best places to live. So not really an answer I can give you, but I can tell you this location is really sweet, really special. And I don't know if you can tell behind me, but this might be why. You've got some gorgeous mountain views all the way around. You've got no rear neighbor. And then you've got, you know, gorgeous, beautiful, oversized backyard. Not sure if you can tell. We're going to do a little outside tour of the house in a minute, but really that is just to give you a preview of what I'm talking about here. So this house is listed for 319. In most areas of the of the United States, 319 is not going to get you much, but here in Las Vegas it gets you at least 1700 square feet, four bedroom, a cute loft, a big old backyard. Let me show you that backyard one more time. See this bad boy? Huge. Huge. Teresa said huge. Let's say hi to Teresa. Hi, Teresa. See, six feet away. I told you, we're, we're tethered by a leash here. So anyway, so we're going to walk through the house. I'm going to show you some stuff. It's not going to be a typical walkthrough. I'm not going to show you every closet and every pantry. The goal is to get you excited about maybe coming to see this bad boy in person or buying it virtually, baby, because that's what we do. We do it very well. We work with a lot of you who are relocating from all over the world who want to make Las Vegas the next chapter of your lives. And uh, we want to help you do that and help you fall in love with living here. So we're going to walk through the house. It gets a little echoey. I'm going to tether you along with me, Teresa, on this weird leash. Thanks for joining me for this little experiment. We're going live currently on Facebook, personal page, business page, and my YouTube peeps are watching. How you doing? If you have any questions, let us know. Again, 319, a little over 1,700 square feet, great starter home. Let me go show you why this place is so awesome. Okay, Teresa, we're going to walk through. Let's go to the front of the house first. Are we seeing everything okay? Yeah, we got Leave that people up. online. Cool. What are they saying? Uh, they're saying hello. We've got Aisha and Janice. Hey, Janice. Hey, Aisha. We're going to go outside the front door here. Don't worry. We will be wiping this place down with all kinds of disinfectant after we before we leave. But I want to show you why one of the reasons I like this house so much, largely it's due to the fact that it's in this gorgeous area called... I don't know if it's called Lone Mountain. Are we actually officially in Lone Mountain, Teresa? Do you Technically, know? Technically, I would say. Probably yeah, would Lone Mountain. This, I would call it Northwest. Northwest. It's not super far, though, because for those of you who really want to be a part of Summerlin, this place is like 10, 11 minutes from downtown Summerlin. It's on a cute little here. Beautiful, very well kept. Look at that mountain view. And just on the other side of this wall is actually a park, a community park. Let me come out to the street here, and I'll show you exactly what this gorgeous house looks like. Very clean. There she is. Hello. Hello, little house. All right, we're going to go on in. You see Jeffrey and Olivia. Hey, Jeffrey. Hey, Olivia. Olivia's my girl. Watching for a long time. Always a good fan. Always supports what we do here in Vegas. She's stuck, I think, in Kentucky, if I'm not mistaken. Quarantining away like we all are. Okay, we're going to walk in. Another thing that I really like about this house is the natural light. Don't know if you can see the adjustment through the camera. They've got this gorgeous wood plank tile throughout the house. And just the natural light coming in from back here really brightens this place up. So you she's asking about room dimensions. Can we mention yeah. room dimensions? I'm going to do a best guess on that. But then, Aisha, if you want the actual specifics, you can certainly click the link in, um, in our description, which will be added when we're done here. And we can certainly um, help you out with that get you all the exact links. So walk in here, you've got a nice living room space here, nice open or open floor plan. You've got a small area over here if you want to do some sort of a dining room. You've got hand sanitizer. <laughs> a nice open kitchen, as you can see, beautiful cabinets and stainless steel appliances. It's a beautiful starter home and again listed at 319. Let's go upstairs. It's a two-car garage and again I'm not going to look in every nook and cranny because unless you really want a full-blown detailed tour. This is meant to just kind of showcase what you can get for your money in Las Vegas. So I talk about the secondary living area a lot with my clients. A lot of people don't think about this, but when you're buying a house, you want to have 
a secondary living space upstairs, even if it's just for an office or a toy room or anything you can, you know, really use it for workout space, whatever. It's always nice to have a secondary space. So this house actually comes with a really nice sizable loft right off of the landing here off of the stairs. We'll go over here, show you some of the rooms. Aisha, I know you were asking. So typically, cute little bathroom. They just redid the tile. Let me show you this. Oops, there we go. Beautiful tile. Typically, houses in Vegas have sort of a mama bear, baby bear, papa bear effect, meaning each room is, I'm going to turn this around on me, each room could be, it kind of does, like if it's a three-bedroom home, you're going to have the small, middle, larger room. Obviously, the master is always going to be the largest, but just keep that in mind when you're looking at houses online. Either the, home, the rooms are going to be the exact same size, which is about 10 by 10. Honestly, 10 by 10, maybe 10 by 11, if you're lucky. And then um, some of the some of the homes will include a little baby room, which might be a nine by nine, which is just meant to be, you know, a small room for an office or something like that. But let me show you this room here. The homeowners of this house are just they just love this home so much. They took such good care of it. They the carpets have been deep cleaned. They you know made sure that the paint was in good order. They redid the bathroom floor. I mean, this has just been they've just put a lot of love into this home. Nice little washer dryer set there coming with the house. This is one of those rooms that I was mentioning that might be a little bit smaller. This one's probably right at the 10 by 10 or the 9 by 9 mark, Aisha, just to give you a little bit more guidance on that spacing. All right, let's pop over. Thank you. Thanks, Teresa. I forgot to turn on all the lights. What kind of a realtor do I think I am? Here's bedroom number three. Again, we're not going to look at every single room, but I wanted to show you just some really cool things about this house. This is the master. And what I like is, um, again, look at that gorgeous view. Beautiful backyard. No. Someone's asking about programs to buy a home if they're about to graduate college. Perfect. I'll cover that in just a second. Look at this awesome backyard, you guys. And right behind us, no rear neighbor. That's a street that separates us from those homes. So for those of you who are concerned about privacy, uh, that looks pretty private to me. Okay. I will mention um, about some loans, loan programs and stuff as well. But I want to show you guys this house comes with a beautiful walk-in closet. Thanks, Teresa's like an amazing assistant to me today. I have to start paying her for this stuff. <laughs> and then let's go to the bathroom area over here and show how it spreads out in here. So beautiful walk-in, nice bathroom, beautiful cabinets that match all throughout the house. And look at my cute Teresa. <laughs> She's hiding. She's hiding. Cute, cute, cute. Look how cute she looks. Okay, so give me some more questions. What do we got, Teresa? I'm going to okay, come over so behind you here. Graduating and looking for a, call, a program to buy a home. Look at my cute Teresa. Look at how cute she is. Hi, welcome to the team. She's our, one of our newest members of the Saron group. Thank you. So graduating college. So um, if you have been watching, you know, um, Amber Coleman from Guild Mortgage and I talk about a lot of programs that are available for you from a home buying perspective. So my best guess for you would be call Amber. Let's let her um, get, get a real understanding of what you're situation looks like and she can run those numbers. Again, as soon as we're done, I'm going to go into the description of this video and I'm going to add a link so you guys can click the link, get in touch with us. We'll put you right in touch with Amber. We'll get you guys going on a conversation. Tons of programs if you're just graduating college. Tons of programs for medical workers, right? Medical workers, if you're in that community and you're dealing with what we're dealing with right now, good Lord, we need to give you guys houses for free in my opinion, but there's a lot of really cool loan programs for that as well. Um, same sort of thing goes for, you know, fallen heroes, veterans, first time home buyers, you name it. There's going to be programs galore that are going to be available for you. You just got to call the loan officer and find out what's what. So got to run your numbers first. If you're interested, again, just click the link and uh, we'll get you guys in contact. You can also go to any other video on my channel and uh, click any of those links and it'll take you to the same place. So how are we doing on questions? What else we got? That's about it for now. All right. Does anybody have any questions about this house specifically? Because if not, I could just keep rambling or I could end this. But either way, total experiment on our part today. We really got excited about, you know, the fact that we do everything else digital. This was our first foray into a digital open house. So typically open houses are the realtor sets up, they open the door, they put up a table, they bring flyers, they you know bring snacks, bring drinks, whatever, and then they wait for people to come. We're going to be a little bit more proactive. We're inviting you to come. We're going to create a little party environment as we start doing these more and more and more. Might do some giveaways, might have some fun with it. Today was about confirming that our um, technology was going to work appropriately, and I think we're doing okay. Give me a thumbs up if you think we're doing okay. Otherwise, after this, game on. Sarone Group, party style, virtual tours for days. Um, is there anything else? Anybody other? Any other questions? Nothing. No, nope, we're just a lot of people watching. 
Love you guys. I hope you're enjoying your beautiful Saturday. Um, please rewatch this video if you want to see the house. It's a four bedroom, beautiful home, over 1,700 square feet, listed for 319. We might be doing some more fun virtual tours here. And again, stay tuned because we might be having giveaways and all kinds of other stuff. You know, we love supporting our local businesses. So I've been talking to a few of my local business partners about finding a way to engage you with them and give away some cool stuff. So Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for letting us check our equipment on you. We really appreciate it. If you have any questions about this house, you can also just comment on this video and we'd be happy to get back to you. Otherwise, Lacey, your Las Vegas gal, signing off. How about you, Teresa? And Teresa saying bye. Bye, six feet away. Yeah. We love you. And then just go ahead and press the stop live button. See ya. Where was that? Right here. We're going to finish right there. Okay. And broadcast. <laughs> <laughs>